The way I see it, you tell Julie she could have her freedom and see how she feels about it. She'll be following you all over campus. All your dreams will come true, Josh, my boy. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what this is starting to sound like? This is starting to sound like one of your harebrained ideas you had back in high school. George, can we get two more of the same, please? Coming up. Thanks. Do you... Do you... Re I remember the last time that I took your advice, Josh. I think I got slapped upside the head by Mary D'Angelo. You were a green high school kid. It happened right in the middle of the dance floor, Josh. Everybody saw. You did it all wrong. What can I say? You were stupid. It was your idea. <laughs> but it's all in the way you play it out, though, Chuck. I mean, style. Panache. You've got to have style and confidence to pull off anything like this. Oh, right. Right. I can see me right now. Julie, your happiness is all that matters to me. And if you want to run off with, with that, that little Rambo, then you just go right ahead. Please work. Yeah, you're right. It's too big of a risk. But it's that's wor what it is. But it's worth it. You've got to be in to win. No pain, no gain. No, no, no guts, no... No guts, no Julie. Josh, that's what could happen if I, if I play it your way. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, you got any more brilliant ideas? Nope. Fine. I mean, if you can't see your way clear to making the big play, the best thing you, you can do is just hold the line. I mean, keep things the way they are. I don't know. I guess so. I mean, I couldn't put up with it, but then again, I'm not you. Well, maybe you're right. Ah. <sighs> Down, boy, down. Oh, you can feel free to leave anytime you want, Chuck. I'll handle this alone. No, that's all right. Hi, boys. Hi, Cecily. Uh, you're alone, I hope. I am now. What an evening I've had. But you know, you know, Cecily, uh, Josh and I were kind of having a very private. But we're finished. Oh, what are you but, drinking? Uh, the cola would be great. Great. So what's so private? Oh, what's so private? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing at all. You know, I'm out of here. Oh no, no, no. Doing such a rush. Well, uh, Julie and I are going to be doing some uh, American Lit homework tonight. With Nico draped all over the Courtland Library? Wouldn't that be kind of a drag? Cecily, Nico is not going to be draped all over the Courtland Library, all right? We'll see ya. Style and confidence, Chuck. Panache. Later. All right. <laughs> How was that all about? A uh, little advice, you know, man to man. <laughs> George, can I get a cola for a lady, please? You are giving Charlie advice? All the time. On style? On women. Women? And how to handle them. You? <laughs> Let's talk about you. What's the problem? I'm in love with an older man. One very special, wonderful older man. If your tastes run older, of course there are any number of fascinating men out there. Such as? Moi. That's funny. I, I never thought of you as being older. Uh, oh, it's part of my charm. You know, a boyish maturity combined with a good looks and strong-minded determination to make you happy any way you want. It makes me irresistible. Well, Josh, what you lack in style, you sure make up for in confidence. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'll drink to that. 